Hey YouTube, I am back and I do apologize for being um, MIA for so long, but crazy work schedule. I'm going to be having my first day off tomorrow in 21 days. Um, I've been working seven days straight, so I just wanted to touch base and do some videos with um, just everything's been going on, but I haven't been able to. So this is a haul video as the title says, so let's get started. The first items that I'm going to talk about. I got a Cosmo Pro professional whatever. Um, it is a professional beauty supply store for um, estheticians, cosmetologists, and nail techs. Um, so the first thing that I got was a leave-in conditioner by Care Care um, from the Natural Textures line. Love this stuff. It is phenomenal. Um, I think if you... I say um a lot. Sorry. This is something that I put in my hair every other day. Love it. It makes my hair very, very soft. It gives it uh, this, like, it almost stretches it out a little bit sometimes, which, of course, you all know if you're natural, you want that stretch. You want it to be elongated. So it definitely does that. Also, I got some buttercream, which is an everyday moisturizer swear by this stuff this is my holy grail moisturizer for my hair i will probably never purchase another moisturizer unless they came out with this times 10. so that's that and last but not least on hair products is the detangling conditioning mist this is new um i've never even opened it or tried it i like seeing how stuff comes out sorry my fans on doesn't smell too bad it almost kind of reminds me like of a it has a nice refreshing like beauty supply <laughs> like beauty um beauty shop smell so it, it's not bad um my hair feels really soft but not damp you know what i mean like you know how sometimes you spray stuff in your hair and it feels wet it doesn't feel wet it just feels a little softer hey 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 might be my new thing Next from Cosmo Pro, I got three polishes from the new OPI San Francisco line. The first one is appears to be tan, which is, I don't know why I'm trying to show you the bottom, which is a beautiful tan color. It is gorgeous. Um, I love that. That's actually what I'm going to put on my nails next. So the next time you see me, I will have different nails and that will be my color of choice. The next one is what I'm wearing now, which if I had to compare this to anything, one of my coworkers, I had shown her club because she was we were talking about eyeshadows, and I showed her a club, and she said, "Oh, your polish looks like that." So I was like, "Oh, yeah, it does." Um, it's called Peace and Love and OPI, and that's just a beautiful duo chrome. It goes from purple to green, and you know, just does a couple of just weird things when you look at it in the the different light. And the next one is going to be I Need Sour Dough. That's just a beautiful crimson, nice fall color. It reminds me of like leaves. All of these colors do, which I guess is why I'm drawn to them. Um, but they're just very pretty and fall-like. Next, let's see. Okay, um, I went to Ulta and I got three things. Um, the first one is going to be Bloom Eyeshadow, um, excuse me, Lip Pencil from NYX. And I got this for my kit to kind of... Um, use like uh, magenta lip liner by mac i think that this is really pretty these are very affordable three dollars and 49 cents so i personally want to catch all of these when nyx does their buy one i think get the second one half off or buy one get one free something like that or if they do like a 20 percent off i definitely want to stock up on some of their um lip liners because they're very nice and um, very pigmented so if you're looking for an inexpensive lip liner definitely try out those NYX's um, next I got the butter gloss I don't know why this is called cherry cheesecake and it's orange but it's a beautiful orange color again I'm in love with oranges and things all things fall so this is really really soft and I'll put it on yeah if I look crazy it's y'all's fault I like how it feels. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad by itself. But I definitely like how it feels. Very soft and moisturizing. Um, next is going to be, I bought the Jumbo Eye Pencil in Purple. 
And that is it right there. Next, I went to my fave, and that's MAC. And I'm back to MAC um, 12 products to get two lipsticks. The first lipstick that I got was Photo, which is a satin. And it's just a nice everyday brown. Um, I think that this will be something that I can throw on. You know, one of those products that you don't need a mirror for because you know where your lips are. But I think it's just going to be one of those nice fall brown colors, everyday colors. Then you have to do a liner with it, which is why I like that. I'm really liking these. Oh my goodness, like this feels so glossy and not sticky, but moisturizing. Love. Um, next, I got Pink Plaid, which don't know why I've never owned this. It is a matte color, and it is shocking on my hand, but there it is. But with a little bit of magenta or vino or chestnut, for that matter, this color, I think, is going to be fabulous. Next is a little bit of funness. I have been wanting to redo my whole uh, MAC palette system. I was not liking the fact that I could not see my colors. I'm a visual person, so I like to see things and be creative and shop my stash and play with stuff that I didn't even know I had. And you can't really see it in the old palettes because everything was so closed. So I'm not going to shuffle through everything when I'm getting ready in the morning. Yada, yada, yada. Um, as you all know, I'm sure you've heard, MAC lowered their palette prices, which they should have done a long time ago, especially when you have things like Z palettes and people are making their own palettes because, you know, $18. Ain't nobody. You know the rest of that. <laughs> so the first one that I showed you a while back I got was the lipstick palette and I took all of my lipsticks and I depotted them and put them in here I melted them with the candle poured them in with a spoon and it was a gruesome four days so I loved how this looked it caught my attention it made me want to mix colors it made me want to use some of these lipsticks that otherwise would just be in this tube and in the morning I wasn't going through searching for all of that now I can grab this, take my lip brush, you know, scoop some out, mix it on my hand, do what I do. Beautiful colors. Okay, so I decided to upgrade all of my shadows and give my babies new homes. So here are all of my shadows in their new cases. I still have the plastic on them. I will be more than happy if you all would like for me to do like a series of, you know, all of my MAC shadows. No bragging, you know, I'm not even going to go into that because, yeah, that's not me. So I like to share with people so you can know how I use things, what I like. So I don't want to say I'm going to do a video and show you every all of those in one video because I'm not going to talk that fast. Um, it'll be more in depth, more in detail. But for instance, like this is my shimmery, um, shimmery brown earth tones. So, you know, if you want to know what I use, what I like, what I don't like, what I would never buy again, once it hits pan, it's out of here, I'm chucking it, um, definitely let me know. Just leave a comment below or like the video, and if I get more than 10, then that series will be up next. <laughs> I want to do that series for you all. Um, so I got all of those. I also got, they have a new Pro Longwear uh, palette insert that um, has come out and this is the Pro Long Wear eyeshadow in Uninterrupted and just to give you a view I also got this one too and this is the double this is the double um, blush just to kind of give you a side by side of what these sizes see how see the size of that compared to the blush yeah, so these are the blushes. My devil is so chipped up and cracked, and I hate that. I really do. But that's how they sent that crap to me. And I'm mad about that. But um, <laughs> these are the new uh, Pro Long Wear. I am going to depot three. I have three Pro Long Wear shadows. Um, I'm going to depot them and stick them in here. I just have to get some magnetic facts. That's what I'm waiting for. So that was all of the beauty products that I have right now I'm going to be I also got oh I didn't bring it in here I'm so sorry I also got a Mac 
a new Mac brush. It's the 287. Google it, YouTube it. You'll see it and let me know if you want to know more about that brush. It's a dual fiber eyeshadow brush. Um, I'm going to use that just kind of for doing soft washes of color with like very bold, bright colors that I don't want to wear every day and really have them intense, but just do you so you see them. Um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. I am so excited to be back and to be able to create some videos and get them posted and talk to you guys because I do miss you. I miss your comments. I miss um, interacting with you. I have been watching all my girls and guys. Um, I have been watching your videos. Um, you've been actually helping me get through the day because my days are so crazy. Um, yeah, so not complaining. It is what it is. So thank you so much for watching. I hope everyone has a great, safe weekend. I will be seeing you soon. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.